Hey guys, welcome back to Life for Rent. Today I'm going over a quick overview of the Flex Menstrual Disc. This is my first attempt at the disc. So I tried it on earlier and I just recorded this right now so you guys can see what the box looks like. It's supposed to hold up to 30 ml of blood. This is a disposable one. There is a non-disposable one, but I went for the disposable one because I feel like that's a little bit more hygienic, right? And also I was, I'm usually on the go. This is supposed to help reduce cramps in over 60% of the users, also reduce dryness and irritation. It is gynecologist recommended as well as it's not linked to toxic shock syndrome, which is great, and it's hypoallergenic it's body safe and it's fda approved so it looks like this it's kind of firm but still malleable there's a little pouch and that little pouch is supposed to protrude to the bottom and you just insert it like this you can use like a lubricant if you like it's also recommended to watch a how-to video prior to insertion all right guys so just a little bit of an update i've been sitting in my car for about three and a half hours already through traffic or whatever it may be i have yet to stand up um after initially getting in the car and then like placing it in this morning so Right now I'm starting to feel a little bit more of like the shedding sensation, but I don't feel like it's leaking. I did end up wearing a panty liner just in case, and I'm gonna block that. <laughs> All right, so now that that's gone, um, I can now fully explain. So um, I did bring an extra tampon as well, as well as an extra panty liner. You can never be too prepared when you are on your period, especially a super heavy day like my day twos usually are. Um, I have really heavy periods, but they also stop abruptly, like meaning it stops like on the third day. Um, so the heavier they are, the more short of a period it is. Um, and then the more trickle, the more trickling effect, the longer it lasts, I guess it, it makes sense, right? I usually use about six to eight super plus tampons on my heavy days like today. Um, I, when I read the box, it said that it could, like the flex could hold up to three or four tampons I believe I don't know is that regular tampons and what type of tampons I'm not going to take any chances so that's why I brought a lot of extras um full transparency I'm a little bit apprehensive as to like when I pull it out later um when I need to and like do I really need to is it what obviously when I feel like I'm leaking but I think psychologically like I'm like thinking like I'm going to pull it out because it's been a couple of hours, similar to like how a regular tampon works, right? But I kind of want to push it through so to as far as I can without leaking. Um, but we'll see. It's my first time using it. Luckily, I don't feel the leakage yet. But like I said, I haven't gotten up or anything. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so the verdict for the first time of using the Flex Disc is that it didn't work for me. I feel like there's a there's definitely a learning curve and um, yeah so like I went to a public restroom so that's another tip is that if you're away from home or you're gonna try this out like during a regular work day I suggest not to because then you're constantly worried about like are you gonna leak is it gonna work is it gonna shift are you gonna start having cramps out of nowhere you know those are all these questions I just kind of like ran through my mind all of which did happen. I had slight cramps. It did leak, but nothing too crazily. Um, maybe about like five to 10 cc's on my liner. Um, luckily, I got to a restroom at that time because otherwise it would have started to seep through. Um, so like I, I performed hand hygiene. I went to a restroom. They didn't have any paper towels or anything. You want to make sure you have paper towels or something you can wrap it up in, right? And the sink was super far away from the toilet. So performed hand hygiene, walked back over to the toilet, hovered over the toilet because I didn't want to sit on the toilet because it's a public restroom, right? And um, I squatted. I took my finger and basically like I slowly went inside and then I felt the rim of the disc and then I slowly pulled it out. So when I pulled it out, it wasn't too hard to retrieve, but it did feel a little bit weird. Like there was some something you know, like obviously there's something in it, right? But like it just felt and it sounded really like squishy and plasticky, and which it is, but it's just a funny thing to like hear and feel. Uh, my finger had to go further up because I couldn't really find it where it was. So I think the replacement that I did earlier this morning, um, what, like four hours prior to it, wasn't too far in there and it wasn't properly placed. And that's the reason why it leaked and um, I need to place a little bit further the next time. So anyway, so I, I had to retrieve it a little bit further back. And when I did, it came out pretty easily. Um, you just have to really relax yourself during the state because it's a little bit um, scary, especially like being your first time, being my first time, right, using it. Um, but I can see where 
people like it. It just hasn't worked for me quite yet. I need to rewatch and try to learn the proper way to like place it in there. Uh, my anatomy is a little bit different. My gynecologist told me that it's like more tilted, right? So um, I watched a couple of videos saying that you need to push a little bit further, like down and then towards the back, like really push it towards the back. And I didn't do that this morning because I was a little bit afraid to, um, but that's on me. So again, it's all a learning curve. I definitely would love to see this work for me. I'll try again tonight and hopefully it works out while I'm, you know, doing weights and working out and running and whatnot. And then maybe like even in the shower, like the gym shower to see if like it leaks or anything. And then, um, I'll let you know like what, what happens after that. And so that's basically it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I don't have too many answers for you right now, but I'd love to be able to like get this thing down pat. Um, so I can teach you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.